believing that it is a divine appointment for a divine anointment. Those of you that are already down here, there are some people behind you trying to get up here too, so move on, move on any close. There you go, there you go. So whether you're up here, whether you're back there, I just want you to know you have a divine appointment. Every one of us, God has a divine appointment. If you miss your appointment, you miss your anointment. But if you say yes to the time of God on your life, then God's going to say yes to pouring out the oil upon your life. So would you join me right now? Would you lift your hands to King Jesus? Come on. Would you lift your hearts to the Lord of glory? And in unity, as Psalms 133 declares, behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. I believe we can stay in unified prayer, in unified praise, in unified worship, in unified intercession, in unified expectation for a revelation that will bring a transformation and reformation in our city, region, nation, and the nations of the world. Lord, here we are with outstretched hands. Here we are, Lord God, abandoned, Lord God, to your purposes and your plans. We are desiring that your kingdom would come and that your will would be done. We are desiring that heaven would open over this place right now and that angels would descend and ascend in the name of Jesus. We are desiring that your glory would fill this house and fill every mouth with a fresh praise and a new worship. We ask you now, Lord Jesus, to remove the veil Remove the hindrances, remove shackles, chains, yokes, the anointing wants it. For in the place of unity, it is poured out like the anointing oil that comes down the head of the priest, his beard to the edge of his garments. Lord, encounter us tonight in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. If that's your cry, if that's your plea, slap your hands together. Come on, give God a shout of praise. Come on, lift your hands to Jesus tonight. God wants to break our autopilot Christianity. Tonight's not just another night to float through and have a nice meeting and Get a couple goosebumps and leave unchanged. Tonight is a night where the Spirit of the living God wants to put His hand on you and mark you to where it would be a true watershed moment to where you look back on your life and remember that Tuesday night was the night that God marked me, that God called me. Come on, lift your hands in tonight. Come on, just begin to lift your voice. Fuck! 
tonight it's being poured out it's so much more than words up on a screen it's the overflow of thanksgiving and joy and love from your heart to his throne it's being poured out from the north to the south to the east to the west the church house to the white house to the crack house to the whore house it's being poured out we want to see you high and lifted up lord we want to see the train of your robe filling the temple holy like you are holy Lord
lift your voice. Just begin to cry out to the Lord. Come on. He's not finished with this moment. Come on. He wants to mark you. He's stirring up the waters. He's stirring up the waters. Come on. Let your heart go after him tonight. Let your heart King Jesus declared in Matthew chapter 6, verse 5. Blessed are those that hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled.
Jesus gave his body that we would have the bread of life. And he gave his blood that we would have the drink of glory. And we only know those things because it is written in his word. So as we hunger and we thirst for righteousness, as we desire to receive more of Jesus, his body and his blood, we prepare our hearts, our minds, our soul, our spirit to receive his word. Not paying any mind to the things of the flesh or the things of the earth that would get in the way of the things of heaven that are coming forth from his throne. Tonight, God has sent his man, his instrument, his mouthpiece, his trumpet voice. Corey Russell is a man of God who currently serves on the senior leadership team of International House of Prayer, IHOP, KC.